For all collective, happy Friday. We're just going to drop one message for the collective today. Your girl got things she needs to do and that she wants to do. Um, I'm kind of hesitant of whether or not I'm going to drop any videos this weekend. I may or may not. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, it depends, you know, if I get any uh, urgent messages today, I will definitely just record them and have them, you know, upload and premiere for this weekend. But honestly, your girl is probably going to take Saturday and Sunday off. Definitely Saturday. Um, but then again, I don't know. You know, we'll see how my day goes today or whatever. But for the most part, I feel like I'm being called to like, you know, take a couple days off from all the energy I've been channeling. So I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Because I can tell you guys I'll be off and a video might still premiere. So we'll see. <laughs> uh, but we're going to see who this is for for today. Um, I added like so many more messages to the Spirit Says that like, oh, is it able to even? Yeah. So I'm going to have to do that in two parts. But, um, yeah, I was guided to do more messages, I don't know, write stuff. All these little downloads and notes I've been taking for, like, the past month. So, I tried to jot most of that down. So, we got about another, I don't know what, 200 cards added to the deck. So, let's see, though. We're going to see who this is for, and we're going to get some tea. But today, we already got a pop up here, some sort of communication here, Mercury energy. <clears throat> Somebody could not want you to speak, especially with my throat cutting up like that. And honestly, underneath the deck was Gemini. I'm a Gemini, for those who don't know. So yeah, let's see. We're going to get this message out. Divine Holy Spirit, answers of the highest white light. Please guide me with the clear and concise messages that a collective needs to hear for today. Archangel Michael and Metatron, please protect the portals and myself as I channel this message. Yeah, because look what popped out. Because somebody on that bullshit. We about to bring some, we have some shit about to come to light. So protect me as I channel this message. Also, I ask that you protect me, my children, loved ones, and the collective. Father God, I ask that you keep us covered in the blood of Jesus. And I rebuke anything that is sent to harm us in Jesus' name. Ashe, and amen, baby. Let's get it. Who this for? We got justice underneath the deck. Libra energy, though. And again, the month of July, Cancer, because when I even picked this deck up and started, Cancer fell out. So Cancer season, the season we're in now, more specific, though, as we get into the month of July, that's when shit is really about to pop off. And it's crazy because when I was on Twitter or X, like I had seen a message that I had already like shared on my um. So for those of you who don't know, I'm also on Twitter. I repost sometimes, um, even tweet, you know, little messages and stuff here and there. But like I, I repost messages that are like sent to me and I repost them back to like the collective. So you can check me out there. Um, e Tero one, two, three. Um, if you look me up under the at name. But yeah, when I was on there, there was something I was talking about, um, like important days in July. And I had seen it and shared it with, you know, the collective. And I saw it again this morning and it was like, wait, I already shared this and it, it popped back up. So yeah, like July is very significant. Okay. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here? Who this for? What signs and placements this is for? We got Jupiter, Will of Fortune, Luck, Fixed Energy. We got Pisces. Somebody's dreams are coming true. We have Virgo underneath the deck, which are opposite signs. Something is flipping. Something is switching. The wheel is turning. Tables have turned. Okay, we got Scorpio here. There's an ending, a transformation, a new beginning here. Yeah, Gemini with friend groups. There's a shift in friend groups. People are meeting their soul tribes. Um, karmics are finally getting the boot. People who are meant to be around you are not going to be able to, you know, just keep moving forward with you. You could be seeing 881, okay, 818. And then we got Capricorn energy that's popping up underneath the deck. Who else is this for? Who this for? Can I have three more, please? One more. Thank you. We got Aries out here. We have Saturn, Karma. 
Something about Saturday as well. Something about Thursday with Jupiter energy. Yeah. And then we have Mercury. Something about Wednesday or communication. Ooh, that check somebody wrote. It's time to cash it. I hope it don't bounce. We got Gemini underneath the deck. Mm, let's get the talking, baby. Some sort of friend or family or... I don't know why I just heard, like, I got past. Somebody of the past, an ex, a karmic, or something like that. Old soulmate type of energy here. The will is changing. The things that are being said and heard and understood, right? Um, Gemini also gives me, like, you know, because it's two people. It's, like, twin or copycat energy or, like, mirroring or something like that. Something's being revealed. I don't know why I'm getting, like, double mirror. So somebody is like, I don't know. Something about reflection. Like, I don't know if somebody cast some sort of illusions on their mirror so that they look away. Or if somebody else looked in the mirror, it'll look away. Or I don't know if somebody's looking deep in their mirror and looking at you. I don't know. Because that double mirror thing is kind of given. Like, if you're looking in the mirror, there's somebody who's actually looking back at you type energy. Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall, I guess. But yeah, so... <coughs> Let's get it. We have March 18th, March 12th, March 8th, 1st, 19th, and the 15th. We have December 3rd, 18th, 8th, 1st, 19th, and the 15th. We have August 3rd, 18th, 12th, the 1st, the 19th, and the 15th. We have January 3rd, the 18th, the 12th, the 8th, the 1st, the 19th, and the 15th. Somebody could be born in 2019, 2018. Something could have happened in those years or 2012 or 2015. You could have a child that's the ages 1, 3, 5, 12, 18, 19, or 15. Um, you could be seeing 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> you could be seeing 112, 119, 115, 511, 911. This is an emergency call, emergency message here. Okay. Um, Yeah, somebody could have uh, Aries, Gemini, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Saturn, or Mercury placement. Um, I just heard I'm upset. Somebody's upset and in their feelings based off of some sort of action or some words that were spoken. Like somebody took action here and it could have been like maybe some something that was said, okay? Somebody could have said something to make people feel away or act a certain way, but I feel like karma's playing out and the will is turning and now somebody's inner feelings because it's over, it's a wrap. Whatever illusions they were trying to cast, it's done. The will is turning on some sort of illusions here all because somebody stepped into their power here and now karma, karma is being served. <clears throat> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Somebody tried to hide. <clears throat> Somebody is a terrible shapeshifter or tried to learn how to shapeshift and failed miserably type of energy. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn. The fuck? Let's get some tea. Yeah, somebody who's steady looking you up. Somebody looking you up. Somebody is upset or everybody is seeing the truth of a matter. So I'm saying something is over. Yeah, somebody realized that they've lost the fight. Somebody got knocked out. Like I said, somebody wrote a check. And that shit bounced. They wrote a check, they asked cutting cash. <clears throat> Yo, why they was out here dirt digging, looking up dirt on you or whatever. And they was out here trying to say all this stuff and thought they had everything that they needed to, like, shun you. Now they got legal issues, defamation, perjury, okay? And just a flat-out liar, lawsuits galore. Yeah, this groupy-ass energy. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. What's the tea? What's the tea? Little Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Jupiter, Saturn, and Mercury placements need to know. Yeah, there's a romantic... There's a lover here or somebody who could want to come in and love you. Yeah, they're doing this over love or to find out if you have a lover or if somebody has come back to you or if somebody is in love with you, right? Wolf and sheep clothing in reverse. Like, I don't know. It's like somebody could feel like you're lying about your relationship status or... You're keeping something secretive or private. Like somebody doesn't like the fact that you're living a private life. A private life is a happy life. <laughs> something I had to learn. 
but somebody, you know, they know that you're lying or like they feel like you're lying or I don't know. The insecurities with them is like the way collective look or how they are. They can't be single. They got to be with somebody. So they're trying to figure out who you're dealing with. Yeah, they're fishing for comments. They're trying to figure out who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with somebody is giving the energy that they want to come in and sabotage. Yeah, because they want to feed off you, copy your work or try to come and steal your person. Okay. This is a whore. <laughs> yeah, bad reputation. I can't make this shit up. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'll shuffle again on scene. I did shuffle and incorporate all the new cards. You know, like endless shuffling. It took me about 30 minutes to like really shuffle all of this down and move the cards around, but... We'll give another good shuffle while we're on screen so y'all can see I ain't about that bullshit. Okay. But yeah, the new added messages, I think y'all will like them. Um, some of them are a little bit more descriptive, you know, especially a lot of like the things that I've been channeling to you guys. Those ended up on the cards, you know, like certain cards, colors, certain numbers, stuff like that. So we'll see what we get though. Okay. Am I? I hope I'm putting this down. Yeah, I'm putting this down, right? All right. So let's see here. Yeah, you, you could need to sage Palo Santo. Just cleanse, cleanse your energy. Take a spiritual bath. Actually, this is more so just like needing to cleanse your energy, the energy around you, cleansing your home and your space, your car. Your workstation, stuff like that. Okay. Ring the bells. Uh, chime your bowls. Blow your smokes. That stuff. Okay. So let's see. Let's start with this half of the deck. So. By Holy Spirit, this is the highest white light. What does collective need to know in regards to this message? What is this at the top? Somebody could drive a Chrysler. Yeah, inmate. And I, I, I use this car only because of the barcode. And it really made me feel like, you know, like somebody either being trapped in the matrix or somebody being caught up, somebody being owned. Right. Um, but yeah, this is somebody who's physically going to jail. Like this is an inmate or they could already have an inmate number. They could have already done jail time or something like that. Or they could be in jail. Okay, um, let's see. What we have here for the collective divine Holy Spirit, what do they need to know in regards to this? Let's talk about this romantic love affair. What's so important about this romantic love affair? What's so important about this romantic love affair, divine Holy Spirit? We got a U-Haul. Somebody could be moving or could have moved away from a situation. It's got cause of concern yeah we have 777 a luck streak time take time for yourself embrace solitude like i said you could be loving on somebody and loving on somebody quietly you could have a lot of love offers coming in towards you or somebody knows this somebody feels like you know you're lucky like like i said that's why I'm, somebody could feel like oh they're lying they gotta be with somebody because look at who they are like blah 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 yeah you're like a mona lisa okay so like somebody just really feels that you know you have to be with someone or something like that yeah public defender but they, <laughs> this is somebody who wants to come up against you. Like, I feel like publicly, like with the public defender card, somebody could be a public defender, okay? Um, I feel like you're, like other people are publicly defending you. Like, no, Collective is very fucking single. Like, I can't get them. I try. Like, they feel like people are lying to them or somebody's lying to them about their, like, relationship status with you or something like that. cut this one because I realized I didn't cut this one. Yeah, they somebody can't take it anymore. Like, they really got to know. Like, they feel like, like your life is so beautiful. Like, you have to have somebody. What else on this romantic level thing? Yeah, somebody could drive an infinity. Okay. But we got to listen to your heart, okay? Like, I feel like even if you do have somebody, like, Deep down inside, you know not to say nothing because 
what has happened in past relationships and what people have done or tried to do. Yeah, somebody's been trying to pray and hope that you'll you'll release this. But it's like the best things in life are free. Like you appreciate the fact that you can live in this private moment and you don't have any people like on the outside trying to come in and pray on what you have, right? Somebody could be getting in a car accident or like I said, like somebody's trying to figure out what you got going on because they want to cause some sort of accident or some sort of running or bumping with your person or like, I don't know, they want to get your person caught up. Like somebody wants you to get cheated on and get played all the time because they feel like you're a very important person. Yeah. And when I say something about cancer season, okay. Also, this could be um, somebody could want your lover, even if they don't know who your lover is, they're just hoping that they get in a car accident so that you lose your lover. Like somebody wants you to lose your lover. Okay. All because your lover could have wanted to move away or has moved away or something like that. Weirdo. Talk about this wolf and sheep clothing in reverse. What's going on with this divine Holy Spirit? Wolf and sheep clothing in reverse. Uh-uh, that is way too much. That's what we're not going to do. Somebody named could be Julius. Et tu, Brute. Then fall Caesar. So, you could have frenemies around you, okay? Somebody's like, what the hell was that? Look, I studied um, Roman and Greek mythology and Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, all of that shit when I was in school. So, it comes from Julius Caesar, people. <laughs> okay, yeah, somebody could be Puerto Rican here, all right? Somebody could be going to Puerto Rico, <laughs> In a month, okay? There's a Puerto Rican out here who crazy, bipolar. <laughs> they could be showing up in about a month talking about they I'm your soulmate, you're my soulmate, okay? We got an aunt involved here who could be a Taurus, okay? Or maybe there's an aunt who raised someone, or this could be a Puerto Rican aunt, or this could be an aunt who's a Taurus, this could be a bipolar aunt, okay? <laughs> Let's see. What else about this wolf and sheep clothing? What else about this woman sheep clothing? Somebody could drive a Dodge. Okay. This could be a mother energy. This could be a mom and an aunt. This could be a sister. Like sisters right here. Somebody could drive a Dodge. But they're going crazy over this soulmate. Over this romantic person. <laughs> over this love affair. Over who you could be. I feel like in a month. These people could be. Yeah. In, in a month. Like we'll still be in um, July. We'll be coming out of cancer season. But. Who's underneath? Yeah, next holiday, 4th of July. Okay. You could be seeing Blue Jays. But what is this? What is this? I honestly want to know about this bipolar person. What is up with this bipolar energy? Divine Holy Spirit. Not your circus, not your monkey. Okay. Throw the whole group away. What is this? 1221, keep a positive mentality. Your connections. Your connection is meant to be. This is about a twin flame. Somebody's going crazy over the fact that you could be meeting your twin flame or a soulmate. We got 2626. Take it easy and balance out your life to bring in stability. This is somebody who is not stable. Who's upset that yours is. Like I said, this is about a lover. <laughs> Somebody is hoping, like, even if your lover is, like, trying to come towards you, if somebody on left somebody and trying to come towards you, they're hoping that this person get in an accident. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? Carrying on. What's up with creativity? As a matter of fact, some, what's up with the aunt? Tell me about this aunt energy. What's up with this aunt? Come on, Holy Spirit. What's up with this aunt? This aunt don't like the way you take care of yourself. This aunt could drive school buses. Okay. What's up with this aunt? Tell me about this aunt. This aunt is a co-worker. We got too many following. They could have the initials D, K, M, T, W, first, middle, last name, or a nickname here. They could be a Capricorn here. Or like I said, they was doing devilish activity. This is somebody, they could be actually a bus monitor, but they, they don't monitor the kids. Okay? If somebody didn't run a thorough background check or something on this person, they're fucking crazy. Um, these two people could work together. Okay? 
a aunt could work with like you know their niece or it's a mom and sister who works together or something like that but they it's time for them to pay the piper because it's karma that's universal laws of karma like it's fated for this to happen like all of this stuff was set up to happen in your life the way it did collective okay and I feel like even with these people, and they probably like somewhere in their sick and twisted mind, they probably got the warnings and knew that they were going to go down, but somehow they wanted to change this. That's why I said it's like the will has turned, right? All of them shenanigans, them illusions, how people was trying to like, you know, destiny swap and, you know, energy, all of that is done. It's a wrap. Yeah, somebody is definitely going to jail, okay? And this is all over some sort of money, okay? Yeah, it's, it's this one thing that got me tripping. Yeah, the one thing I got them tripping is who you messing with or who messing with you. Yeah, you're a praying warrior here. Somebody also was trying to pray against you, okay, so that you can have trust issues over a boy, whoever's trying to come in towards you. Tell me about this creativity. The person who needs to feed up off of the collective. This copycat, this thief. Tell me about this. They power of prayer. Bitch, I was just writing last night. I need to fix that. Well, I know what it says. Power of prayer. And somebody is really hoping that their prayers to whoever they praying to is going to work. Somebody doesn't understand that you pray to God, the most high. The one who created all them other little things that they trying to pray to to come against you. And somebody don't understand that you pray to God, like the big G, not the little one. Okay. There's an ex-boyfriend here. Like, somebody could be feeling away if they feel like your ex, their ex-boyfriend is trying to come towards you or some shit like that. This is um, a fatal attraction or, like, a bad obsession type energy. Leo. What is this? Somebody could be getting five to ten years or they've been trying to copy your energy for the last five to ten years. Okay. We got six-inch hills. It's nobody's business. Stack the money. Say professional. Kill them with kindness. Um, I don't know why I just heard somebody could be a stripper, okay, especially with that six inch heels thing. But this is a Beyonce song, somebody could be a Virgo. But again, you also you're very professional and you look good, you know. Um, maybe you are a true businesswoman or you're a business owner, like you know your worth. And somebody is like trying to come up and like feed off you or steal your ideas. Somebody wanna be just like you, okay? Yeah, somebody's trying to end this for you as well with those, okay? Yeah, somebody is stalking your every move, okay. Yeah, 2220 as I said that. But somebody's stuck on your every move on all your all your social media. This is somebody who burning, okay? And it's crazy because I kept getting this um thing about syphilis. And it actually that's kind of what drew me back to the table to make the cards because it was like you have to put these versions of syphilis on a card. Okay, so Somebody could have that, okay? Yeah, in your dreams, somebody been trying to siphon off your energy in your dreams, but don't worry, God got you, okay? Like I said, you pray to God, the big G, not the little, while they out here praying down on you, okay? With all these other little deities and demons and shit, but you pray to the big G, right? And he got you. Yeah, these people out here lying and trying to manipulate people to believe their bullshit, but judgment is being called on them, okay? Capricorn, Libra energy, all right, yeah, somebody is stuck in some sort of childhood trauma is what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, and it will not work. Somebody's trying to put some sort of um, childhood traumas or trigger you with things of your past. Okay, somebody's trying to really bring up some old, old shit. Okay, but it's not going to work. Yeah, and I feel like time, what will time tell? Time will tell, but somebody could be getting five to ten years. Five to ten years of bad luck, jail time, because we just see that inmate, Okay. Yeah, Julius. Somebody could be plotting and scheming your um red rum. Okay, your ending. What is this? Time will tell. One three three manifesting your goals, dreams, desires, and self reflection. Yeah, I feel like you know, regardless to whatever, whatever it is that you're working on is still gonna um manifest. You're still gonna achieve it. And I feel like whatever it is that they're trying to manifest in your life, whatever their goals are, is not gonna work. And they're gonna get yeah, they're gonna get it back. So the karmic confession. Yes, I did black magic on you. No, I don't care. So what? You're divine. You're going down. Like somebody does not care, and they don't get that you can't take out. God's child, like you're crazy, like you're, you're somebody's on a suicide mission, and I'm trying, and you know, I know YouTube triggers certain work. Look, and it came out like flat out in my face. Somebody is definitely doing this, okay? 
They're doing this because they're trying to force their way into you or, like I said, trigger you, put you on some traumatic experience, make you shut down, try to end you, want you to end yourself, right? Again, doing all this hocus pocus, they could have went to somebody from, like, a, like from Africa or something or overseas or maybe you're there or again they're doing this because you're like you could have Africa you could be from Africa or have African descent somebody don't like you okay this is a thirsty motherfucker make sure you're drinking your water as well okay because somebody wants to betray you this is a thirsty motherfucker yeah and this is because love your unconditional love heals me somebody is coming back from your past because you heal this person tell me about this black magic hex curse focus focus bullshit I want to be with you. Somebody's doing this to stop a love connection. Or like if you're in one, they're trying to break you up or they're trying to make sure that one don't come towards you or that you get played. You stay in third party situations and shit. Yeah, this queen of wands in reverse, this performer, this fake bitch, this karmic. Okay, you got a message coming in or she could be receiving some sort of message. Yeah, if I had a dollar every time. Here's the message. This bitch is still doing this shit. I feel like you could have received a message or some shit like that. Or again, this is another message coming in to tell you, yes, they're out here still doing this shit. I don't even feel like it matters, you know, what the moon are, like what the moon phase is or whatever. Like they just out here doing this shit repeatedly all day, every day. Like they're losing their shit. I said somebody's bipolar. They're losing their shit. Okay. Yeah. So somebody could drive a rogue or somebody's going rogue. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could be getting life or they're going to be stuck. Dealing with the, like, being insane. Somebody's insane. And they're going to be stuck dealing with this mental conflict for the rest of their life. We have a karmic masculine here. This could be a man or a woman. Okay, if this is a woman, this is somebody who, she feel like she she got the balls. The balls and stick in a relationship, right? Like, she could, like, to want to deal with men that she could peg and stuff like that, okay? Um, very controlling, overbearing, crosses all type of boundaries, okay? Highly sexual, all right? Um... But again, this also could just be a karmic masculine in your life. Who doesn't want you to have a new lover, okay? Yeah, somebody with the initials E, K, Q, W, first, middle, last name, nickname. I'm also getting a street name here. You could be seeing one, two, sevens, or nines. Don't worry, though. If somebody's upset because you wake up, you pray, and then you slay the day. You stay on some emperor shit. It's a karmic masculine out here who's upset about this. Tell me about this karmic masculine who decided he wants to show his face. Don't fall on the floor. All of that fell on the floor. <laughs> What is this? They're, this is somebody who is doing whatever they're doing over money or some sort of inheritance that you have or that you have coming in. Okay, this could be somebody born in March or something happened in March with this individual. Um, this person could be a Pisces or an Aries. Okay, my... She keeps trying to call. Like, no. Yeah, somebody has been watching you save or trying to figure out what you're doing with your money or how you're getting it, right? Yeah, lightning and thunder. I'm sorry, please come back. Um, save the best for last is what I also heard. Somebody was hoping that you save a spot for them and wait for them, but they're karmic as fuck. Yeah, and they were warned to not get caught up in this bullshit. We got the initials D, J, P, V, first, middle, last name, nickname. Okay, but nonetheless, they still wanted to join a group. They was meeting up with these people still nonetheless. Okay. You could be seeing the numbers four, seven, or eight. Okay, yeah, somebody is definitely watching you. This person is watching and stalking you because they want to hold you for ransom. You're a divine feminine out here in these streets. Okay, this person could want to try to trap you with a baby. Okay, every time you call, she's never home. You deserve so much more. I can treat you better. You don't got to go back home. I feel like this could be even a man telling a woman, like, look, every time you call, you know, she's never around. You know, you could come here or, you know, I could be there with you. Like, it's straight. You know, I can kick her out. Somebody, and uh, this could be why this bitch and this whole group going fucking crazy. Let's get some more that we're going to call this reading a rap because, yeah. What else is there to know? Somebody bipolar and they losing their shit. Yeah, it's a whole lot of money in this mofo. That, that, that's the bottom line. Somebody doing this over money. Yeah, and they trying to do all type of money blockages. Somebody could be losing their job. Somebody could be a bus driver. Okay, we saw that out here. Somebody who out here doing magic and shit. We got a gaslighter. Somebody could be getting kicked out of a church. Like, they're going to find out this person ain't... Somebody could have been embezzling money out of a church. They could be getting locked up for that. Okay, somebody is a businesswoman or they wear business suits or something like that. Yeah, wiretap. They're trying to listen to all your conversations. They're trying to tap into your accounts and stuff and see what's going on. Right, they're trying to wire money out of your accounts into their accounts. Somebody could have somebody working in the bank. Yes, blisters. Somebody could have blisters on their hands, okay? Or they could have blisters on their body parts or around their mouth or some shit. Be careful, okay? Okay, it feels like I've known you my whole life. New balance here, okay? 
somebody could have already known this about you before you was born or, you know, could have got a reading on you or understood this and they feel like, and they under, and... slow down. Somebody, so like I said, this could be even your own aunt and your own mother, but they know that you were meant to have some sort of inheritance, a whole lot of money. It's crazy because these are both the cards that are left underneath the deck. Inheritance, and it's a whole lot of money, okay? Um, you could have had a boyfriend who could have, like, tried to set a house. Like, say if y'all stayed together, somebody could have, like, tried to set the house on fire, you know? So that way an insurance poly or something could have paid out. They could have been working with your family. But this is really all over money and some sort of inheritance that you're supposed to receive. It could have came out of a will or something. But these people need to get a pet or a hobby. Nonetheless, they need to mind their damn business, okay? Um, Like I said, something with sex. I don't know, because syphilis and all that came out here. Somebody was doing sex magic or shit. Maybe they felt like that was a good hobby, a good thing to do, right? They started doing sex magic and shit on you, trying to block your creativity. Okay, yeah, and it's crazy because the orange color is is sacral energy. It's a sacral chakra, and then I, it's blisters here. So somebody could be burning, okay, having an outbreak from some sort of sexual encounter. Yeah, whoever was doing this mirror, mirror on the wall. Didn't I say that about feeling like somebody could be, like, watching through your mirror or some shit like that? Yeah, I said it, but you were thinking it. Somebody else was feeling this shit, too. Yeah, um, somebody could drive before an edge, or like I said, this person is at the edge, like... Bitch, they drowning. <laughs> Beat down, bust down, bust down, bust down. Bitch, they guess they're drowning. Something is saying get the zombie tarot. It's crazy. I read across that one last night, too. I don't know. Spirit was speaking to me. Yeah, somebody is insane in the membrane. Let's pull on this. Let's see what's going on. Divine Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know? What else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? No. Yeah, this is a deceptive, envious, lying ass, jealous individual. Okay. Like I said, this could even this could be your own family. They're doing this could be a karmic masculine. I got divine feminine out here. Okay. Some somebody karmic as fuck don't like the fact that you, there's a lot of people. I'm getting there's too many people in this energy who feels a way about you. And it's like it, this is a community. They're all working together. All because some sort of inheritance or some sort of money you're supposed to get. That's why it's like if I had a dollar for every time. But you, and it's like and they don't understand that. And you're getting a dollar for every time they're doing this fuck shit that they're trying to do to you. Like they're just racking up your your spiritual inheritance, your financial inheritance bank. Like the more they keep trying to siphon the steal from you, the more that you're going to get blessed and that's going to return to you. Yeah, with this nine of hazards, nine of pentacles. Um, you can't even get inside the club. How you going to hang you standing outside the club? Like it's that type of thing. Like I feel like there's something about you that attracts. Well, obviously, you're divine, so you're going to keep attracting all these karmic-ass energies, but is she walking him? Oh, they is walking these zombies. Somebody feel like you walk... What is that dog walking? Like, somebody feel like you got them in a chokehold or some shit. You got too much control, but it's just as Libra energy. We got Virgo right here. What else? Yeah, I told you, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and somebody want to come in and try to affect what you got going on. But what I heard, you better lay low, okay? Yeah, like, because somebody definitely is trying to come in and take what you have. Like, I feel like you're living a good life. This could even be your own family trying to make, like, a dirty deal with you or something like that. Like, somebody got their eye on you. Like, you're targeted. Like, all these circles right here, you're targeted. Somebody else could be targeting your children, okay? Yeah, but you're protected. Your ancestors, look, he got two. I count six shots. I count two guns. And again, like, what? <laughs> okay? Like, you got, it's that spirit of Django. The Django. Because he ain't give a fuck. Like, he was a rebel. He was going to stand up for a cause. Yeah. I'm telling you, you got so much. He got three hands right here. Like, you can do it by yourself. You're a one-man band man. And this is what people are really upset about. Yeah, like, your family, they could want you to marry somebody. Or maybe it's a family that you marry into. Maybe it's in-laws or some shit like that. Or, again, this could even be your own family. Like I said, wanting to come back around because they see that you... Somebody is saying, oh, let me get, let me take that off your hands. You got, so you have too much on your hands or some shit like that. Yeah, so with them coming in with that offer, there's judgment on that ass. 
Okay? We got fire out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Libra. Cancer. Yeah. They asked about to be sacrificed them dance, so they about to be hung out so everybody could see them for the type of people that they really the fuck are. Pisces energy. All them illusions that they were trying to cast. Like I said, it's coming to an end. I said that in the beginning with that Pisces energy. Yeah, and you just need to lay low. Like, I feel like your silence is pressure. When your friends call, answer, say that pressure speaking. <laughs> pressure. Like, that's that's what you are right now. Leo energy, your pressure. Yeah, like, you're not caught up in no bullshit. You're not caught up in no maze. Yeah, justice being served. Somebody's going to jail. I'm right. Somebody's going to jail for causing all this pay comp. They could be a, a, a brutal fight, right? Somebody could really end up getting earned, injured real bad. Like, a real bad assault and battery charge or something like that. But somebody's going to jail. Eight of Swords justice. Somebody is definitely going to jail. Or they're in jail. Yeah, death. It's over. It's a wrap. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They sacrificed themselves trying to come after you. This was like a, a suicide mission. That's what it was. Like, there's no other way to say it. It was a suicide mission. Yeah, they came in indirect, very cocky, arrogant, um, talking off at the mouth, right? Somebody could have even exposed themselves. Yeah, Page of Cups in a delusional state. Like I said, because somebody's bipolar. Somebody came in and either ratted somebody out or ratted themselves out. Yeah, somebody could have talked about stealing money or got caught up. There's some messages or something about how somebody was trying to come in and take some money or some shit like that. Yeah, four of swords. I mean, four of hazards, four of pentacles. And somebody could have been telling them like, yo, shut up. There's people listening. There's people watching. Okay. While somebody had a target on you, they, was, they were being targeted as well. They were being watched by law enforcement. Yeah, the empress. Okay. Magician. Justice for you. Everything that you've been manifesting is coming in. There's a king of hazards here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's going to fucking jail. Or this could be a father figure. This could be somebody who's married or that, you know, a father or a husband or somebody you were married to. Okay, but this motherfucker's going to jail. This could be your own daddy. Somebody is going to fucking jail for trying to steal some money. I said embezzle or some shit like that. And Empress, you're getting everything that you rightfully deserve and that you have been manifesting. You're getting that times 10. What's this death energy? Yeah, something's over so something new can begin. You have a fresh new life coming towards you. And like I said, somebody spoke too fucking quick and that's what changed the will. The will has shifted. The universe has done this. On this top layer here, out of these eight cards, there are five majors and there's two court cards. Okay? Like the universe is like, no, fuck this, we're done. Okay? We got Aries out here, Libra Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Yeah, I'm telling you. Sun has changed in a relationship dynamic. Somebody has woke up and realized that they was either sleeping with, eating with, you know, they was breaking bread with the devil or some shit like that, or somebody who was not of the of a right sense of mind. Yeah, look, the Queen of Swords is out here too. I feel like you could have gave somebody a one on. Like I said, their ancestors, you know, popped up too and stopped people in their tracks, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, a hermit here, a Virgo. Somebody who's, you could be laying low. Like I said, needing to lay low and just mind your business. There's some sort of message that could be coming in, could be coming in from a Virgo. Or a Virgo could be receiving some sort of message here from a Queen of Swords or some shit. Or a Queen of Swords could be coming in and wanting to send you a message while you minding your business, enjoying your chocolates. There could be some message coming in about some kids too. I'm seeing something about after 6 p.m. And it's crazy. Nine of Cups because last night when I was looking at this deck and pulling out this deck. It was one of those things where I was just like, bro. Nine of Cups. This Queen of Swords is telling some truth. A trap has been set and somebody is about to fall into this trap. It could be this hermit energy who's trying to hide from this mob crowd here, right? This person has some sort of bright idea because this is the same woman. And I said this last night when I was skimming through this deck. This is the same woman, okay? She had this idea and this plan to cause, you know, some sort of... When you see the Ten of Cups in this deck, this is the background image of the Ten of Cups. She thought about this beautiful, happy life and how she could, you know, conquer and, you know, destroy and get whatever she wanted. She read up on all of this stuff, right? She possessed all these people, conjured up all these deities and felt happy that she had this in the background. It's giving me that vibe of the people under the stairs. If you've never seen a movie, it's old as fuck, but go see it. Okay, because this is like this. Like they was feeding these people like bodies and shit like that. Okay, so she's sacrificing, trying to make some sort of sacrifice so she can feed these demons that she got hiding behind her wall. Okay, she came to play. What well, she got a shoddy, but what grandma got an automatic and she got... A fucking trap on the side, okay? Grandma don't play, all right? Grandma does not play. What is this in her background? 
It looked like she got a scanner. I don't know. Maybe she buy a hotel or some shit. I don't know. Grandma doing this out of the kindness of her heart, okay? Or this could be you collective coming in and just saying what needs to be said. Like you're expressing yourself openly. And this person was sitting here thinking like, oh, you know, I come up and I don't know. Grandma, grandma got something that's more rapid fire for that ass, okay? I just thought I put that out there. I see her clip and all that shit, okay? But it's like whoever this is, they could have been trying to speak on some shit, right? Um... They had to wait for a certain time for something to work out or to do something. But they were plotting, planning, and scheming this shit. And I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords is, somebody who's way more mature, has come in and talked about how whoever this energy is right here. And it's two nines on this card. Somebody who's very selfish. They did something out of greed. They were sacrificing people. Like I said, didn't I just say the people under the stairs? They're under the stairs and she's kicking this man down the stairs to sacrifice to these zombies. Like, I'm telling you. What the Queen of Swords saying? Yeah, the King of Swords. It's, look, they both talking together. Like, <laughs> I count six shots. Shit, they got three guns, baby. What you, he got a whole gun case. Like, this is a couple who is coming up against these people, right? So, yeah, these people overheard. These could be ancestors, okay? They overheard what somebody was saying. What her dreams and what her plot and her plan and her scheme was. Her selfish, her selfishness. Somebody's being selfish. And they overheard this shit. And they came in to set the record straight. This could even be the law. I'm telling you. This could be a fucking lawyer and the judge. Okay? Or the judge and the jury. Or some shit like that. Or, you know, judge and the jury. Whatever. Tell me about this, this hermit. Yeah, this hermit is... What the fuck? Because that came out in reverse. This could be being seen on, on the news. But this came out in reverse. They're... Mm -mm, they ain't right. They dark as fuck. They dark as fuck. They have no morals. None. They have no morals and they don't care about anybody. They're selfish, bro. I'm telling you. Taurus energy. We got Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces. And like I said, they was casting all these illusions. Somebody was delusional. This is this bipolar energy. Yeah. All over money. They could even be using dead people's social securities or whatever. Yeah, this bitch is delusional. I'm telling you. That's that this is bipolar. Mental issues. Okay, and I don't talk about nobody with them. We need some advice for the collective. Because this shit is stupid. Mm. Final advice for the collective fear spirit. Right, Any other advice? Final advice. Let's get some advice for the collective. They're getting so much on the story. What else is that they need to know or, you know, for themselves? Yeah. Right, this is my ladder. I gotta go. Yeah, somebody is very emotional, emotionally immature, so don't even get caught up in whatever bullshit. Like I said, bipolar, okay? There's also, like, somebody who's emotionally unstable, okay? Very moody, okay? Very manipulative, overly emotional. I told you with this Nine of Cups and this Hermit energy, somebody has really went within and drove themselves crazy with this idea or this plan, this plot, and this scheme of trying to take down people for some sort of greed or financial gain, okay? They don't care who they're taking down or who they're sacrificing. That's the sad thing. I told you somebody's even coming after kids. Like, bitch, you going to hell. Yeah, because they don't they have a broken family or disconnected family. Like somebody, um, they they have a false security and they want you to feel this way. Somebody wants to steal your ten of cups, okay? But judgment is here, okay? This is going to be your testimony about how you came up against somebody who was really doing everything that they could to take you down. Your own family, whoever the fuck this is, this is your testimony. This is your rebirth, okay? God and the angels have made a final decision. They said, no, this shit is not happening anymore. We're not doing this, okay? Could be done with a Pisces energy out here, okay? We also have Libra showing up on the judgment card. Yeah, because you're an empress. You're the real empress, okay? We already saw that. You're getting justice, regardless of whatever, no matter what somebody tries to do. Yeah, and you have this real love, an emotionally stable and balanced person who's coming in. I'm telling you, don't don't worry about it. Real love is coming in, okay? We got full moon underneath the deck, okay? And, about a, and within a month or the next full moon, okay? Just stay aware. Just keep moving forward, all right? But cycles are done, completed, wrapped up, okay? And you can expect to have this new love, okay? Since we're talking about the moon, Let's get um moonology here. Yeah, a fiery climax approach. Aries energy right there. We saw Aries. Aries is big, big energy. Is is big daddy. Is emperor. Okay, divine masculine. And he's coming. He's coming in the form of a king of cups. Somebody who is self aware, highly intuitive, knows what's going on. And somebody who 
will make you feel something. Oh, shit. Okay. What we got here for the collective? What we got here for the collective? Let's close out this message. What do they need to know? Yeah, communication is key. Yeah, this communication is coming in. We saw that with Gemini and Mercury. All right. Um, a time to give rather than take. New moon and Virgo. Luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius. With this new moon energy you're about to come up to, let me tell you, you're about to receive a lot of incoming communication about what's going on, okay? Um, I feel like you are going to receive some sort of big blessing. Don't forget to give back, okay? Um, I feel like also... Um, be... I feel like what this is, is giving back more to like Mother Nature. So like, I don't know. Like me, um, I go out and I feed the birds, you know whatever bread or whatever i might get like a little bird feeder or some shit like that but like little stuff like that okay like give back to mother nature return something to them i don't know but also and luck will be on your side like i said somebody could feel like you're lucky lucky girl syndrome or something like that or somebody don't like the fact that you know things still work out for you but again they're really about to be pissed off when they find out that you're that things are still going to work out for you but i feel like even if this is family and you you get this inheritance to something like i feel like you're still going to share because it's just who you are like, you're not going to give them their, your everything. You're not going to tell them exactly what you have either. You're just going to, like, give something to them. And, and they're, they'll feel like, oh, it worked. You know, she she sacrificed and gave it. And it's like, nah, like, you could have got a million dollars and you gave them a hundred dollars. And they don't know that you got a whole mil. They probably only think that you got, like, a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars. And you done turned around and gave the most, most of them the money. And it's like, no, that's not even the case. Okay. Yeah, because meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. Okay. And it's crazy. This is all mutable energy. That one came out. So you're be able to look. You're you're able to see things on both sides. See everything from both sides. Okay, like it's like yeah, you know, if the chances instead of them like you know getting a book thrown at them and they going to jail for that five to ten and oppose, they could just go and spend some time in a sane asylum and fucking get their mental health together. You know, and maybe that'll take two to three years or you know shit. You know, a few months and they'll be out and they'll be good. You know. I don't know what the case is. I don't know. It's saying like kind of be gentle or whatever. Mutable. Or look at it from both sides, okay? And not for nothing, if you're somebody who's like, oh, well, you know, they got kids and damn. Think about what they did to you and they ain't care about your kids. So if the judge say fucking 10 years, let, they get them, let them get that fucking 10 years. Because they didn't care about you and your children. Some of these people are actually doing work against your children to take your children out, to take you out. Hell, you are the child and your own parents were trying to take you out. So don't feel no way okay do look at it from both sides but at the end of the day also remember to choose you okay and don't forget about yourself because these people definitely forgot about you all right yes and hold your vision fix moon fix energy and we know i love to close out with a spiritual with a spirit oracle message because this deck is so, the messages are so powerful so let's get it not bad i stayed under the hour mark actually i stayed under 50 minutes because showing up, even with being on a Wi-Fi, it still takes forever for this to upload. Then sometimes my phone begins high. It's a new phone. It should be wilding. But trust yourself more, okay? Know that you're in the right place at the right time. So, spirit, last message here for the collector to close this out. Ooh, y'all got two. Never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It's better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious. You are worthy. Okay? Your worthy collective. Perhaps you are reminded all too often just how quickly the phases in your life can shift. One change after another. You are going to it. You are learning to adapt and grow. Be kind and gentle to yourself. That's why I said. So even with that, a time to give rather than take. So this could even be, especially with it that being that Virgo energy. It's a time to give attention to your body and what you need opposed to taking from your energy reserves to give to someone else okay communicate and let people know you know you're not doing that you're not about that you need a resting them like how i came on at the beginning and told y'all look y'all may i may not get no readings this weekend because i'm being called you know to take a couple days off to recharge myself you know whatever Either way, luck is on your side, okay? But meditate and contemplate, of course, go deep within. Mutable energy are here. Look at it from both sides. And, of course, you'll be able to make the best decision for you and the higher good for those around you, okay? But, again, be kind and be gentle to yourself, all right? And like I said, I told you that full moon. We got the full moon in a month. The next full moon for when cycle's going to close out and when you're going to get this love, when somebody's going to come forward, right? But with this new moon, there's some sort of communication. There's a lot happening with this new moon. Just keep holding your vision because this new moon is bringing in luck, luck. 
is bringing in time for you to take care of yourself. It, it, like your glow up is going to show or like you're really going to buckle down hard on like, you know, your diets and your exercise and like, you know, just your routines, your home life. And I'm telling you, communication is going to come in. Things that you need to hear, things that's going to help wrap up and close out cycles. You're going to find out about people, you know, getting arrested and, you know, People getting in accidents for all the, all the shit that all the backfires. You're going to find out about this and everything's going to be wrapped up by the next full moon. So, yes, things are shifting very quickly. Hold on tight. Drink your water. Take care of you. OK, so learn to ride the waves. And it's crazy. I said drink your water. So learn to ride the waves of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is to be gained by depleting your energy? fighting against it. Don't do that to yourself. That's why I say you probably, you know, you need to spend some time, you know, just really getting yourself together and focusing on your own health. Yeah, because it's time to hit the reset button. All right, the reset button is being hit. That next full moon, it's a wrap. It's a done. Dada. None of this shit, okay? So, my lovely collective, that has been the message, okay? I hope it helps. I hope it resonates with who I need to resonate for. Your girl is here for personals. You can book on my website, okay? I believe my email is listed below. You can email me and um, we can work sign out. I'm thinking about doing a cash app deal. I don't know. So, stay on the lookout for that. Check my community posts and stuff like that. And like I said, follow me on my social handles because I post things over there, you know. I'm more active on Twitter opposed to like my Instagram. Shame on me. I'm going to get better, but... Yeah, okay. Um, I love your face, but not as much as I love you. Okay, until the next time we speak. Peace out, baby. <laughs>